We'll begin in Abuja, where President Bola Tinubu has appointed new service chiefs, the Inspector General of Police and National Security Advisor, with immediate effect. And this latest appointment was disclosed in a statement by Director Information to the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Willie Bassi. Former EFCC Chairman Nuhu Ribadu has been appointed as the National Security Advisor. Major General C.G. Musa is the new Chief of Defense Staff. Major General T.A. Lagwaja was appointed as Chief of Army Staff and Rear Admiral E. Ogala as Chief of Naval Staff. Others are Air Vice Marshal H.B. Abubakar, Chief of Air Staff, D.I.G. Uh, uh, Abubakar is Chief of Air Staff and D.I.G. Kao Diegbeto Kunzaktin, Inspector General of Police, while Major General Epa Udende has been appointed as Chief of Defense Intelligence. President Tinubu also approved the following appointments. The appointed officers are to act in their position, spending their confirmation in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Joining me on the news now is a fellow Nigerian Institute of Industrial Security, Oyekachi Adekoya. He joins me from Abuja. Well, let's um, begin by exploring the fact that the ex-service chiefs have only been there for a little over two years. Recall in January 2021, the former president was under pressure to replace them. Uh, would you say that um, the timing is right, given the duration that the previous service chiefs have spent? Right. Thanks, um, Nifemi, and good afternoon to the viewers. I, I think that the question of timing was um, absolutely left to the discretion of the president. Um, if you look at them um, antecedents um, historically, um, it would seem that um, commanders, new commanders in chief, um, always feel more comfortable with their own appointees. So the considerations would not be in this instance, how long they have stayed. Um, you've heard the president uh, mention a couple of times his um, intended um, reforms. And I would think that um, the new appointments um, follow the trajectory of um, his speak and his thoughts um, towards uh, shaping um, Nigeria's um, security posture towards um, what he thinks it should be. Uh, so I think that, um, of course, it's an opportune time for him to do that in the early days of his uh, administration. Um, so the timing would um, be totally up to his own considerations, which we don't have any um, insights into the reasons why he's taking the actions, but he's well within his rights uh, to make those changes now, particularly if he wants to do things differently. That would be my own reading to the change. Perhaps for the first time, um, we, we're having a national security advisor who is not of the, you know, the ranking officer within the military since um, 1999. Walk us through the dynamics of this and how that will affect his relationship with the service chiefs. Yeah, I like the way you said um, for the first time since 1999, not the first time in our history. Because if I remember correctly, there's been two former police officers who were um, on sir. Now, we have a bit of a problem, and it's good to see that this administration is listening. We have clamored that the, the next appointee NSA, which is in this case, Nuhu, 
should not be a retired uh, military officer. I think that um, the, the our military colleagues have kind of felt like um, um, the NSA position is um, their exclusive reserve. Um, except when you are in war or at war, um, you don't need an NSA. In any case, when you look at the National Security Agency's um, Act, um, the president could have appointed a carpenter to be NSA if he so pleases. He could have appointed a doctor. He could have appointed maybe an Okada person uh, because the experience, the constitution does not lay so much emphasis on the experience of the NSA. The constitution says that the, the coordinating officer for national security shall be, shall, shall be a principal officer in the presidency. And he shall have the responsibility for coordination, not oversighting, because the NIA and the DSS, they answer directly to the president. The DIA answers directly to the chief of defense staff. So all that the NSA has to do, I don't like the word NSA, but um, let's say the National Security Coordinator, the Coordinator NSC, which is what the Constitution recognizes, um, should just coordinate. He should not be seen. He should not be heard. He's an advisor to the president. He's not a cabinet uh, position. Um, and the powers and responsibilities given to him are just, um, they are limited to coordination and advising the president and doing every other thing that the president needs him to do. The, the whole noise we are hearing from a sector of the security um, industry um, is that um, is because the military over time have structured the NSA to be a command holding position. And that's what the military brings into it. Uh, if you bring retired commanding officers, senior officers, they want to set up command. The role of the NSA is a personal aid to the president, a coordinating officer, nothing more than that. And um, I think that um, No Rebado is a fine gentleman having worked um, as EFCC um, chair and um, a former presidential um, candidate on the on the ACN, I think. So he has the clout to sit in that office, remembering also that when he shows up, he will be showing up on the authority of the president, commander in chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. There's nobody yeah. that um, has taken an oath of allegiance to the Nigerian state and to the commander in chief that would not respect an appointee of the commander in chief. So Indeed. I think that um, the president has made a very good choice and we support it wholeheartedly. Again, the social media is agog about the geopolitical and religious spread of the appointments, particularly the service chiefs. We have two from the Northwest, two from the Southwest, and one each from um, Southeast and South South. I've heard people say the North Central is not represented here, but how difficult is it to make this election across board? Because prior to this appointment, there were talks about the possibility of hundreds of military you know, officers from the Army, Navy, and Air Force being forced to retire, depending on the cost from the Nigerian Defense um, Academy, where the president decides to pick his new service chiefs. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, I think that the president, this president, must be commended. Uh, um, he's taken a very balanced, nuanced approach to everything that has to do with governance. Um, it's only barely three weeks. Um, but he's giving good vibes. Uh, just um, permit those of us in the security industry to speak um, like this. In terms of election, um, I don't think that the North Central was completely left out because if you look at uh, Christopher Guabin, uh, sorry, the chief of defense staff, is from um, Zango Kataf, um, Kaduna South. And um, historically, uh, Kaduna South, Niger, Abuja people, um, almost um, share some history together. Um, and he's a Christian. Um, so you can say that um, uh, Kaduna covers that um, coming down, covers North Central, Northwest, Kano Air, um, the Naval Staff, um, Enugu, um, Chief of Defense Intelligence, South South, um, Onsa, Northeast, uh, Chief of Army Staff, as you expect the president to do to protect himself and uh, protect his, his own regime because the chief of army staff is the most powerful chief amongst all the chiefs, although you have the chief of defense staff who more or less provides um, governance and strategy oversight of the armed forces. 
Um, so, I mean, what we've seen is very balanced. IG, Southwest, uh, Chief of Army Staff, Southwest, and then you have that spread. Um, every other position duly covered for. If you if you clamor for the North Central, don't forget that the Secretary of the Federal Government, um, is which from is that part the, of the country. The office is mm. from that part that, that governs and controls everything that has to do with the federal government. So that has been taken care of. And we need to commend the president for his nuanced approach. Absolutely. Fellow Nigerian Institute of Industrial Security, Oyeka Chiadikoya, will continue this conversation um, in the coming days. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you for having me. And reactions are now trailing the new appointments by President Bola Tinubu and African Social Accountability Advocate Hamzat Lawal has commended President Tinubu for appointing Nuhu Ribadu as National Security Advisor. Mr. Lawal says the appointment demonstrates President Tinubu's commitment to strengthening the nation's security apparatus. Part of the statement reads, this unprecedented decision demonstrates President Tinubu's commitment to strengthening the nation's security apparatus and ensuring the well-being of its citizens. Malam Ribadu brings a wealth of experience, expertise, and a proven track record in the field of intelligence as an outstanding and highly respected retired police officer, end quote. Mr. Lawa further stated that President Tinubu's choice in appointing Ribadu reflects a commitment to excellence and a desire to assemble a team of the brightest minds in national security. Let's turn now to the courts where suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Amefile, is challenging his detention in the custody of the Department of State Services. The Attorney General of the Federation and the DSS are, however, insisting the detention of Mr. Amefile is lawful. In a preliminary objection filed against the fundamental rights enforcement suit instituted by Mr. Amefile, the AGF and the DSS told the FCT High Court that the detention is backed by an order of a magistrate court. Godwin Amifile, in his originating motion on notice, is praying the court to enforce his freedom to liberty and movement, as there are no basis for his continuous detention. The AGF is also challenging the jurisdiction of the court to entertain the suit, as the originating motion filed by Mr. Amifile ought to have prayed the court to set aside the order for his detention, rather than seek enforcement of rights. The court adjourned to 13th July for the ruling. The, the, case, the matter today was for hearing of the fundamental rights, fundamental rights proceedings of the suspended governor of the Central Bank. We have argued the application. They have replied. We have also uh, replied on points of law. They raised issues of jurisdiction, which we met and explained to the court that the court has undoubted jurisdiction to hear the matter. It's now we are to the 13th of July for. Yeah, when you see the ruling, you see all the ruling. When you see the uh, ruling, you see the reasons given one way or the other. A news just in, Vice President Kashim Shatima has now decorated the newly appointed Inspector General of Police, Kayode Egbetoku. He was decorated in the presence of his wife, Elizabeth Egbetoku. The appointment of Kayode Egbetoku and others are to take effect immediately. We'll bring you details of that story subsequently.